Susan. I'm one of the zookeepers here at Woodland Park Zoo taking care of the nor uh, Northern Trail. And behind me are Kima and Denali, our grizzly bears. Uh, these twin boys are 26 years old. They were born at Washington State University where they have a small population of bears for a long-term nutritional study. And they came here to live at the zoo when they were a year old. True or false? Female bears are called sows. True. Female bears are called sows, and male bears are called boars. The two of them get along really well together because they've always lived together for their whole lives, and because we don't have any females here. Normally in the wild, the only time that you would see bears together is when we had a female uh, with cubs. And the way that you can tell them apart is by their coloration. They're just a little bit different. Their faces are a little bit different. And Kima is darker with a golden patch on his shoulder. And Denali is golden overall. And he looks just a little bit bigger. True or false? Grizzly bears hibernate in the winter. False. In the colder months, grizzly bears enter a low energy state called torpor, meaning they go into a deep sleep. Now here in Washington, it would be pretty unlikely for you to run into a grizzly bear if you're out hiking or camping. There's less than 10 of them in the whole state. It's much more common for us to have black bears in Washington. There's over 25,000 of them just in Washington state. I'm calling these boys grizzly bears, but you may also have heard them referred to as brown bears or Kodiak bears. Those are all names for the same species, but they're different subspecies, meaning that they're different populations that live in different areas and they have slightly different diets as well. True or false? Grizzly bears are opportunistic eaters. True. Grizzly bears are omnivores and they will eat whatever is available at the time. Grizzly bears are opportunistic omnivores. Uh, omnivore means that they eat both plant matter as well as meat and opportunistic means they take advantage of where they can find food. So depending on the season they may eat different things. Early in the spring they're going to be eating fresh plant shoots as they're coming up. Uh, in the summer they're going to be feeding on a lot of berries and then in the fall they're going to be eating spawned out salmon. They'll find, uh, they scavenge most of the meat that they eat, but they will occasionally catch and kill something on their own. But here in Washington, uh, in fact for grizzly bears, they eat about 90% plant material. So the vast majority of their diet in the West is going to be plants. And they have great sense of memory and an incredible sense of smell. So if they've smelled food in an area or if they've been successful finding food in one place, then they're gonna come back to that area and look for it again. Keep bears and people safe. Make sure they have no access to food in our human habitats. Do not ever feed bears. And we can learn to coexist with bears by doing two things. The first thing we can do is don't feed bears. Uh, either intentionally or unintentionally. So if you're uh, camping or hiking and you want to be sure to stay away from bears, one of the things that you can do is to be really careful to secure your food. So use bear resistant containers or lockers that are provided at campgrounds to secure your food or you can also suspend your food up uh, in a tree at least 10 feet above the ground and four feet away from the trunk to keep it safe from the bears. And the other thing that we can do to, to coexist safely with bears is to not uh, surprise a bear. And the way that we don't surprise bears is by hiking and camping in groups. By being in a big group together, we make enough noise that they know where we are and uh, they'll actually choose to avoid us. Become bear smart. Visit zoo.org forward slash living northwest and together we can learn to coexist with bears and all the other wildlife in our backyards.